Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minus 365. Today's lesson, I'm going to be providing you a high-level introduction into Microsoft Cloud App Security, Microsoft's CASB solution. I like to quickly reference a common attack chain and show you how Microsoft Cloud App Security fits into Microsoft Defender's overall protection layer. CASB stands for Cloud App Security Broker. At a very high level, it allows you to govern the cloud applications that are used within your organization. This includes any and all third-party providers of applications. As more workloads shift to the cloud, we move away from central data center that houses all of our data and has protections behind a firewall. With the rise of remote work, we need a security solution in place to protect user identities and corporate data across cloud products. The shift in value for IT pros for corporate data is moving from server and firewall management into the governance of SaaS applications. This is where Microsoft Cloud App Security comes into play. We need to understand which apps in our ecosystem are trusted or are sanctioned and understand which ones are unsanctioned. This includes the discovery of shadow IT and assessing these apps for risk. We also want to include data loss prevention policies to restrict movement of corporate data into locations that we do not trust or aren't under IT's protection. Additionally, we want to protect corporate applications from risky users or unmanaged devices so data isn't compromised on our sanctioned apps. Shadow IT is one of the largest growing concerns as more and more SaaS applications are being used within companies. Microsoft Cloud App Security allows you to quickly discover all cloud applications being used on your network and automatically evaluates those applications so that you understand if they meet your standards for security and compliance. I'm personally more of a visual learner when it comes to these technologies, so let's pop into Cloud App Security Portal to see the admin experience. So I'm here within the Cloud App Security Portal, and on this page I have a dashboard view of all the high-level events that are bubbling up across my organization from applications, from user identities, files, things like that. I think it's important to note that you have this unique integration with Azure AD and Microsoft Defender for Identity, which is syncing also telemetry from your on-prem environment as well, if you're still running a hybrid scenario. And it's giving you a lot of insights about identities that may be at risk from all these telemetry points that are occurring both in the cloud and on-prem as well. On this page, you can see a lot of insights. You can see things about new applications coming into your organization and new threats that are occurring. I think the other cool piece to Cloud App Security is that again, it not only spans Microsoft's product line, but also you're able to connect other applications here as well. Within this connected app section here, you could see if I connected other third parties, including Google and Dropbox as well. And I can go in and I can connect other applications here as well too, that Microsoft has natively provided. And you can suggest apps to them as well too, to add to their growing list here. Back out from the dashboard here, you can go into the Cloud Discovery dashboard, which really relates to all of the applications, IP addresses, users, and devices collected from your network. This telemetry can come natively from the endpoints that you manage with Defender for Endpoint with just a toggle. So it's a really powerful experience to collect this data off of those devices versus having to upload network logs and things like that, which is another possibility that you can do. Here you can see discovered applications and you can toggle on between sanctioned and unsanctioned applications and designate those within your organization. Additionally, they have those third-party applications here as well. And clicking into these, you can actually see a lot of information as far as the attributes of this application. It includes a lot of cool security and compliance information as well too that you can reference and export in a particular report. Over in the investigation section, we can click into the activity log and we can see all the logged events from across these applications. And again, you could see sign-ins from G Suite if you really wanted to here, get a lot of information about the activity going on from an administrative standpoint. You can create policies off of these activity logs that you can use to search a single time on demand or create a reoccurring report as well. And in here, you can filter through the applications as well. And you see I have Salesforce here as a third party, but also I have this integration with Defender for Identity, so I can search for activity logs within my on-prem environment here as well. I have the ability to investigate files across these environments as well too. This could span across just OneDrive and SharePoint, but it could also get into third parties like Dropbox, for instance. Under the users and accounts here, I can see a list of all users that are related to my org. This could be external users as well too that are listed as guest users within my organization. I can also search and filter based off of the investigation priority here, which is basically giving a score to this particular user based off of security things that they've interacted with. And, and it uses a point system really to attribute a overall score and the higher that score, the riskier the user is. 
it can show me all the applications that the user has access to and then when I click into this user page here it'll bring up a lot more metadata about the user so on this page, I have their priority score. I can see how that's changed over time. It looks like they have a lot of risky sign-ins and sign-ins from an infrequent country. And this is all great telemetry coming from Azure Active Directory as well. That's adding to their score. And this helps me lock down access to my corporate resources and the applications that are being used within my organization. Over here under the control section, I can click into the policies and I can see a list of policies that have been set up by default from Microsoft and I can also create a new policy here that relates to certain events like access policies, activity policies, app discovery, things like that. So I really have a lot of control over this. One of the most powerful ones that I'll be showing in a later lesson though is this session policy so that you can control session activity from users who may be on your network or users who are using an untrusted device or unmanaged device to access this corporate resource. You can see how you could block that and be really dynamic with your administration. So the last part here is the alert section here, and this shows you all the active alerts coming from this CASB solution. May be related to the identity events, but it may be detecting new risky OAuth applications on your network or applications that are coming on as unsanctioned that you get alerts about that you can then go investigate. So there's a lot of capabilities here and just remember that these alerts are uniquely integrated within Microsoft Defender to provide an overall roll up into an incident if you have a lot of corresponding events going on from people accessing data on this application or extracting data on this application in a malicious way. So again, that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys today about Cloud App Security. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to set up a monitor for gathering data initially within your organization. Thanks guys, have a great day.